She still takes the full 75. Ugh. Still not so good on that aspect. What's up here? Another door. I have a feeling they all go to the same place. But I'm gonna see what's on the other side of that other door. Okay. It is a Spongebob reference. Hooray for Spongebob. And another door. Uh, triangles. I don't care about triangles. And neither should you. At least we can, ru we can run away from them pretty consistently. See what's in this chest. Silver armor plus one. All of those were gear parts, so I can equip them on gears. Alright. Let's just get out of here. Yep. Those are the other doors. So I'm not gonna go look behind there, because I know what they where they came from. Ooh! Just regular guards. I can take them on when there's only a few of them like this. Basically, it's free EXP, and who wouldn't take free EXP? Too bad I can't do what the other let like Let's Plays do, where you can edit out like boring battles like these ones. There's a, a Let's Player on YouTube that I've watched before called H his name's HC Bailey. His his job is to simply figure out the most overpowered ways of power leveling the game and making it too easy. Defense up. I will... Zoop! Zoop! Uh, you can't do anything to it yet, Doc. Defense up. Alright. Guided shot. No level. Just more, more money. I got monies. Where's this go? I don't understand what these do. This game sometimes. Come on, there you go. Receive Sonic Wave. What does that do? Guess I can't do anything here. What does the Sonic Wave do? Hmm. Is it something? Would it allow me to go supersonic? Did I ever find the laser room? I don't know. I don't remember finding a laser room anywhere. Of course. Oh no, not you. No, please stop. Don't do this. Walk through and see some creepy stuff. Oh. Door number two. Just more chests. Silver armor plus one. Find lots of gear parts for later. Oh yeah, I saw that one. 
Oh, the laser zapping them? Yeah, I've seen that room, actually. You have to go through it, so... Receive gold nugget. Oh... Fine. So you actually got to the place and nothing. Oh. Orphan! We did find it, the one with the zap the one that laser zapping them down. That's really we that was really weird. That's going to Oh, that's weird. What is this place? <laughs> holograms of us? Why are there holograms of us in the Solaris place? Ellie, Minister Number 69201882. Elheim Van Houten. Ether Response Infinite. Anima Alignment Infinite. Comets, Possible Anti-Type. Approval for retrieval and necessary analysis granted. What's, what do they say about me, Faye? Faye, Lambs number 00158975. Faye Fong Wong, Ether Response Infinite, Anima Alignment Infinite. Comments, Contact, Immediate Disposal Desired. Sitan. Sitan. Lambs number 58492154. Huga Rikdu. Rikdo. Ether response 240. Anima. They mis misspelled that, didn't they? <coughs> Anima alignment 98. Comets none. That's weird. Receive speed ring S. Mark, Lam Lambs number 22158942, Bartholomew Fatima, Ether Response 210, Anima Alignment 90, 90, Comments, Upon Da- What? Upon Dan Anima's re Retrieval, Schedule for Animus Adjustment. Billy, Minister number 321658-11 Billy Black, Ether Response 290 Anima Alignment 92 Comments, Schedule for Animus Readjustment Animus Adjustment I see The data Rico, test make sure number number 000-215914. Ricardo Banderas, Ether Response 160, Anima Alignment 85. Comments. Created by the Ethos as an experimental A experimental uh, Excuse me. <laughs> as an oh my goodness. As an experimental mixture. Used by the Kislev Battle Association to measure battle potential. The data has been transferred. Schedule for Animus Adjustment. Oh no, they're trying to readjust everyone. <coughs> Choo Choo. Primitive Animal. Ether Response Not Applicable. Anima Alignment Not Applicable. Comments Unusable. Annul and dispose. Oops. Emeralda. Code name Emeralda. Ether response not applicable. Anima alignment none. Comments. Nano machine colony. Data analysis complete. Annul and dispose. And finally, of course, Marie here. Maria. Maria. Lambs number 5410 
Maria Balthasar. Ether Response 170. Anima Alignment 74. Comments unusable. Huh. I wonder what kind of place this is. I confess, guys. How did I come in just now? Oh, I came in that way. <laughs> Huh? This one won't open either. Oh. This way. Why is it the activation code for the door lock? No. Doc, wait. What's this facility for? <coughs> Excuse me. What's this facility for? This place was not meant to be seen since the origin of time. This facility centers around the Emperor and the Ministry's longevity experiments. The origin of time? Yes, 10,000 years ago, beings called humans were born here. The first, a lot of cutscenes. Okay, we got 20 minutes to get through most of these, so. The first were the Emperor and the Ministry's elders. Wait, do we get a save after this, or do I have to do a boss fight immediately? Please tell me I don't. The first were the Emperor and the Ministry's elders. Probably those old guys we were talking about. How could a human live 10,000 years? Now, now only the Emperor is left. His destiny is to never die. However, the Ministry is different. Once, during the Diabolos invasion... The Ministry Elders died losing their bodies. Now, the Solaris Governing Ministry exists at Data in... Now, the Solaris Governor Governing Ministry exists as Data in Memory Banks. Each of their personalities are bits of Data. It's the Data on the Memory Bank. Having neither flesh nor souls, they are just binary numbers. And is is there a save point before the final boss? Like, right before? There should be, right? Based on Pete's information. Excuse me. So, please tell me I won't accidentally walk into the boss fight without being able to save. I would really not appreciate that if the game forced me to do that. They both exist and do not exist at the same time. Yes, there's a save point before the boss. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, like, not. I didn't know about the save point before the boss, but yes, I know the save after this group of scenes, Oddity. After the fall, wanting to resurrect their bodies and create a worthy vessel... They transferred a research facility that was once the Soylent system on the, la on the land to Etranank. Eventually, the facility was no longer only for the Emperor's life and the Ministry's resurrection, but it began producing food and drugs with additives that controlled the public. The memory cube few Fey and them were using was meant for obtaining living data. Of course, the Ethos also sent various data to help. That means we were living for those elderly people of Gazel. Yes. They're transferring and taking living data via memory cubes to the Ministry so they, they can use them to resurrect their bodies? Yes. You mean those mutants getting disassembled at that factory were, were too... Two were, is basically what he's trying to say, but the translation's messed up. Were also, basically, they wish to reuse the useless dregs. That's horrid. How could they? Hold on, Faye. Something's not right. Sitan, how would you know that? Not even the government or the army know such things. What? Come to think of it, it seems like we took the long way here on purpose. 
There must have been a faster way to Barton them 